today we have a special item for you guys. I've been waiting a long time for this. It's the Reef Wave 45 and the Reef Wave 25. These things are silent, smart, and powerful. And the reason they are so smart and powerful, they come with a controller, this awesome Reef Wave controller. Check it out. One of the reasons why I like it already. It lights up, it's got a hand touch, finger dial, very fluid, feels really good. Buttons feel very strong. The quality construction is absolutely incredible. You can mount this thing on and slip it very easily in your cabinet, on a cabinet door, whatever you want. So there it is, this is the 25. We're gonna open the 45 right now and do an unboxing, and we're gonna do a size comparison before we put it in our peninsula tank right over here behind me. So check it out, it's a beautiful peninsula tank, the perfect example to use this wave maker in, and we're gonna put it right on the overflow column, and we're gonna have it blow back and forth. So we're gonna place what we have now, and we're gonna check it out with the new reef wave. All right, guys, the moment of truth. This is the unboxing for the 45. Uh, feels like Christmas. Okay. So this is it right away. You get the instruction manual right on the top. Um, very nicely put together. The boxes are awesome. Um, great packaging. So I'll let you guys read that later on or in the next review. But this is more about just the unboxing this time. So I'm going to show you what it looks like, how it's packaged, and do a little comparison. So. The quality, of course, is the same, just as the 25, this is the 45. The controller is exactly the same size. Um, there's nothing really different, except for the size of the actual unit. So, you can see <laughs> the 45 next to the 25, that is pretty big. Um, definitely worth uh, checking beforehand before you invest into a 45. This thing looks like it would blow water out of your tank. Um, so yeah, we'll come back to that in a second. I just wanted to show you guys the controller and the nice mount. They give you this beautiful bracket that you can screw to the back of your aquarium or your cabinet door, um, and it slides right on. I've always been a big fan of those mounts. So I'm gonna put this on the aquarium right now behind us, the Red Sea Peninsula, and I'm gonna show you what the 45 can do. So this is a five foot aquarium, roughly around 170 gallons, and we'll see what it looks like over the course of the Peninsula Aquarium. So here you can see the overflows in the back, and this is the perfect place to put it. So this is gonna be dropped down in here, and we'll mount it, so it pretty much will cover the overflow. Um, and we're using the 45, so I'll let you know how it works out. What's going on guys, we put both the reef waves on, this time we couldn't put it on the center because the way our rock and coral are set up, it was blasting the bird coaches over. So we did change the pattern a little bit and we tested out both units, the 45 and the 25. So we put the 45 on the one side to see how far it could reach because it says four to six feet and the other one says one to three feet. So the 25 is a little bit smaller, doesn't carry the distance that the 45 does. Correction, here's the true information for the Reef Wave 25 and the 45 comparison. The 25 is 7,500 liters per hour, 1,980 gallons per hour for those of you Americans, um, and it'll go about one and a half to four feet, the distance that it'll cover. So the, the power that this has to push your water through its your tank, one and a half to four feet recommended. Now the 45 is a lot more powerful at 15,000 liters per hour, 3,960 gallons per hour, and will push two to six feet with no problem. So if you have a peninsula system and you're using it the way we are, that two to six feet translates as wrapping around the glass. So this tank would be at five feet, I would need to cover um, about 12 feet of power. So I thought I could get away with just using one of these, but we're gonna um, show you the two. This thing's pretty cool, guys. Check out this controller. I love the fact that it goes forward and backwards. So you can see right now here, I have it on this very odd uh, pulse method, which goes forward and backwards. And you can see the power level changing. Right now, it goes up to high, it's still in the forward motion, and then it's gonna drop back down to low several times before it switches to reverse. 
So it has a nice pulsing uh, pattern, and I haven't even attempted to play with the ReefWave app yet, but you can actually, this is Wi-Fi, you can hook it up to the ReefWave app. So we're gonna do that next, but we wanna give you our honest opinion, and we're gonna play with it for a while before we just do the review, so we're gonna post that in another video. But right off the bat, you can see this 45 versus the 25, this thing is super tall. So it takes up a lot of space. We did turn it sideways, and you can actually choose which direction each one blows. So you can twist these um, to point different directions, which is really cool. So you can have one going high and one going low that gives you crazy wave patterns. Now, as I was saying before, this will go two to six feet, as they're saying, um, recommended. This is a five foot tank, and it gave it enough current where it was bouncing off the glass over here and it was giving the flow, and you can see a decent amount of flow, but I just wasn't happy with it. So I really wanted to give it a little bit more power, and we added the 45. So let me go show you that one over here. And we do have a lot of soft corals in here, and they love the flow. And this is the 45, and we have it in the same position as the 45, I'm sorry, this is the 25, we have the same position as the 45, only facing the opposite direction. And they seem to match together very nicely, pushing current into the inside of the tank. So it's rolling down the glass, but then it's also pushing in. So you can see the current moving all over. Um, and it changes erratic, which is I love. It, you can see the leathers over here blowing nicely. And it really has, like I said, good movement on its own, good feel. Our lights are going down, it's the end of the day, so it's getting dark in here in the tank, so we're just finishing up for you guys. But I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, happy reefing, until next time.